All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here. And today, Season 5 has released, and that means we have AI, we have snow objects, we have more banished objects, we have two new canvases, we got so many no like new things, FXs and everything like that in Forge. Uh, but right now, I'm going to be showing you how to just spawn in simple AI not necessarily do something to where you have to you do a lot of like uh, the node graph and the scripting and everything like that, but just simply have some AI in an area on your map and maybe make them move around a little bit. Uh, so right here we are on the new canvas, the permafrost canvas, and as you can tell, we have some beautiful snow trees and some other things. There's of course a whole lot of other snow objects on here uh, that you could spawn in like some ice pieces and everything like that. Uh, but right here, this is what I just kind of spawned in real quick just to provide a little bit of something here on this map. Now, the very first thing is after you get done building your map, what you want to do is go over to the build menu and you need to build your nav mesh because the AI has to have a place to actually walk around on like a you know bots this is what you have to do for bots or anything like that now there is more complicated stuff like for jumping spots and just everything like that that you would do in nav mesh cutters and stuff but you know that gets more complicated i'm just doing something real simple here just to kind of show you how to get it done okay so the nav mesh was just generated on here and so this you're gonna have to you know regenerate the nav mesh and stuff like that anytime you place new object because if i put down a tree down the AI won't necessarily see the tree unless you generate a new nav mesh. Uh, so pretty much they'll just could run into it and that's it. They, they don't realize it's there. Uh, they won't actually walk around it. So that's something that you remember. This is something that you do after you get your you know map completed, at least your block out and everything like that if you want to test some stuff out. So what you do for uh, just spawning in uh, AI is very simple. Go to gameplay here and then go to AI. Now you can have different ways of spawning in your AI. You can have a drop spawner here. Um, you can have a phantom spawner, like it comes down and drops, you know, on there, or just they automatically spawn in right here. For right now, we will go ahead and do just a normal, uh, you know, spawner that you drop into. And so you just set it wherever you want. I'm just going to set it over here, and then you're going to go ahead and hit X on it. Go over to the object properties. And then this is where you're going to be choosing everything you want about this. So right here, here, let's go ahead and minimize this type of stuff. We have, we're going to have a single gr grunt conscript uh, just going to be showing up on here. Unit two, you can have up to eight units on here. You can have the adjutant resolution, you know, on here, which is a little big. But for right now, let's just go ahead and just maybe try just a little bit of a little bit of everything here. Let's uh, spawn in the brute there. Let's uh, there's a lot of different stuff that you could spawn in here. Elite enforcer. We're gonna try to get one of each different one in here. So there's elite. Uh, there's a grunt assault. We'll have two grunts with that. Might as well. Um, and then sure, let's throw in a hunter for fun. Then unit six selection here. Um, and let's see here. We can throw in even Marines in here. Uh, we can throw in a Marine heavy right there. Uh, and then let's go ahead and go, uh, Jackal sniper because we hate everything. Uh, <laughs> and there's a Jackal there. Um, and then a skimmer ultra skimmer loyalist or just regular we'll just do a regular skimmer here on this so if you notice we have up to eight here uh, that are going to be spawning on this one point and I believe you can have up to 32 um, total uh, that are alive um, so if some die you can have other ones spawn in um, but just 32 uh, you know that are alive at one time um, and here we go. So the spawn lobby face forward. So it makes sure they're facing the direction of the arrow there. I can go ahead and have that on uh, trigger by a script. There's initial spawn delay. Let's go ahead and make that five seconds. So we have a little bit of time to get over there and look at it uh, squad squad label. So that's just simple stuff. Now, here's some interesting things. If you want to test stuff set as deaf so you can make the you know spawn AI units where they're deaf. They can't hear you blind where they can't see you so you can run around them and stuff they won't be able to see or hear you set them as inactive set as magic sites so they'll be able to see through walls and terrain so they will always be able to know where you are uh with this one right here if you if that's what you want like maybe if you're doing some sort of 
like scary thing where you're constantly getting chased by enemies have them to where they can see through walls and terrain so they'll always be able to see the player and they'll always be coming after them uh and then these are a whole bunch of different stuff this gets into the more complicated thing and then we have an ai move zone we will get to that here in a second but that's all we need to do right there uh to be able to spawn so let's just go ahead and spawn in uh we spawned over here they should be spawning in five seconds here all of our enemies now there they all are now remember i do have death and they aren't able to see me so i can walk around them here and take a look at them and look look at that marine he's all alone by himself with all these other enemies here but yeah this is the great thing about it like i can just over there i could kill them they won't do anything uh because they are blind and they're deaf so yeah you know they're, <laughs> they're like where is he where is he we can't see him <laughs> but that's it that's it right there everyone right there you have enemies that spawn in everything is great okay so let's say you want to have them move around the map so let's go ahead and come over to this side and let's have a ai move zone now you can scale this to however big you want that's just where they will go into once they get into that area then that's where they can stop um and they'll like just hang out in in this area here uh, so here's uh, let's hang them let's make them hang out here in these trees right here uh so there's the ai move zone right there that we just spawned in uh and then if you want to get them to move over to that zone you know just come over here and what you want to do is go to that and go to the ai move zone and you want to link the ai move zone right there so there we go and it's linked to it let's go ahead and spawn them in now uh, right there and we're just gonna be waiting a little bit and look at that they immediately start moving over here now I don't know personally because I'm not a major scripter or anything like that I don't know personally if you can make them walk instead of run uh, that would be a really great feature if we can actually make them walk around instead of like running to the point like just have a slow patrol um, that's something I don't know if there's something in the scripts for that or anything like that But this definitely hey at least we can make them move around so once they get into this area They will sit there in this area until Forever like, you know, they'll just sit there. So then you're like, hmm Okay, so what if I want them to patrol like multiple areas around everywhere? So let's go ahead and move another one over here. So let's put one right here Good 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 and then this one um, we're gonna go ahead and link this one right here uh, Let's go ahead at time to wait three seconds And so then let's go ahead and link the AI move zone to number one right there So then this this is number one over here All right, and let's go ahead and pop in another one and let's make them kind of go back to where they were kind of at the start uh, Let's make them go to right here and then we will go ahead and link AI move zone right here here okay a move zone number two good and then let's hit this one right here and let's link this one to ai move zone okay so let's go ahead and spawn now so now they should spawn in they wait three seconds at the ai move zone and then they go ahead and move to the next one so there they go they spawn in they're moving towards this ai move zone over here all right looking good look at them go look at them go poor this guy, this guy's so slow over here. This guy is so slow. I shouldn't have had him on here. He is so slow. He's making them take forever because all of them have to get to here for them to move to their next area. Um, so there we go. All right, now they're moving around. They're going around. I love that they go in different areas. Now, of course, if I had the sight and the non-deaf thing on, if they could see me, they would all be firing at me right now. And this guy is so slow. Look at him go. He is just bringing up the rear, taking forever to be able to get here. Uh, and let's see if they actually go to the next one now. All right. So now that he's in there, they're going to go ahead and wait three seconds. And then they should start moving. Yep, there they go. And they're moving over here. And they're coming into the final area. How about we just, uh, how about we jump and kill this guy? So maybe it'll make it go faster. Maybe, will that make it go faster there? Yep, there we go. Now they're not waiting for him. Now they're just going to the next area. And see, they just keep patrolling that area. Now, it's also one of those things, if you want to spawn more, guess what you can do? Just just duplicate this. Just, yeah, just, just go like this. 
and spawn a bunch. Now, again, I think you can only have like about 32 alive, something like that. Uh, so, but just doing this, I just duplicated it, spawned it in. Let's wait five seconds and let's see how many of them spawn in. There we go. Look at this. Look at all of them going. <laughs> oh, look at that elite. He's pushing that one over there. Yeah, we, we're going to have to. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to kill these guys because this is going to take way too long. This is going to take way too long to get to the area. Where's the other guy? Here he is right here. There we go. Okay, so now they're not waiting for us anymore. Now, now they're not waiting for those guys. They should just go in there and get moving. Now, of course, you can make the, the wait zone, the move zone larger, you know, and everything. So that's something that, you know, uh, uh oh, those guys stayed over there. Oh, there they go. There they go. They're taking a little bit longer. Don't worry about it. They're a little slow. This group's a little bit slow, but look at all of them. They're going. This is fantastic. I, I just love it. I just love it. This is so much fun. Now, of course, you know, you can do that's basically just what you need to do for moving them around the map. Now, of course, you can do other types of uh, spawning, you know, type of stuff. So let's go ahead and try that out. Uh, we can spawn in some different things. Let's have a drop pod spawner here. Uh, drop pod spawner coming in right here. And then this one, again, we'll have a grunt coming in this. Uh, set the deaf and blind. How about we don't set this guy to deaf and blind, this, this grunt here. Uh, with that AI move zone. Okay, so let's go to just the AI move zone uh, Right there. So he's just gonna spawn in and then he's immediately gonna go ahead and go move uh, With that type of stuff. So yeah, let's let's see. Let's see how this is let's See the the drop boom there it goes it drops in I didn't put any type of delay and look at him just charging out all alone He is going in oh and he sees me now because this guy is not part of the deaf group uh, poor guy Poor guy. Poor guy. He didn't even make it. He didn't even make it. But that's fantastic. Look at that right there. And let's just do the same. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. We have, you know, we did the drop spawner. We have a phantom spawner over here. So let's try this one out. Uh, let's try this one out. We have a phantom spawner. Let's go a little bit further back here. Uh-oh. It's, it's, it's stuck. It's stuck in ground. It's stuck in the ground. We don't want that phantom spawner. There we go. Okay. Phantom spawner. Go something like this there we go and let's see here let's look at the settings here we have grunts we have a whole bunch of stuff brute berserkers we're just gonna pop like jump in a whole bunch of brutes just because they're the first one and so we can of course just have them spawn in just real quick just to show a seat preference both so you can have them set on the left or the right side depending on how you have your uh, phantom drop in active turrets you can go ahead and turn on the active turrets side gunners yeah let's throw those suckers in there as well vehicle preference set which vehicle should be dropped by the phantom so if you want something dropped by the phantom you can let's uh, sure vehicles piloted is on so it, we're gonna go ahead and do a chopper here set as deaf let's go ahead since there's a whole bunch of these let's set them as deaf on here so we don't completely initial spawn delay let's do this one at three seconds uh right there and then the ai move zone is going to be going to the ai move zone here fantastic awesome so let's go ahead and spawn in now and see how this looks we have our drop our little grunt coming out look at him go and look at this look at this coming in this is fantastic okay so we have a chopper right there um one thing i found out whenever i was messing around with this vehicles do not they they ignore the blind thing and everything they will come after you um if they're in vehicles so if you notice see how he's coming there oh no oh man they see me now the gunners see me now the <laughs> The vehicles, see the vehicles, they don't, they don't, they don't hide off of that. Oh my gosh, all of them saw me. I thought they were supposed to be blind. <laughs> they were not blind. They were not blind. But see, that is just awesome. I just love that so much that we can have this come out right there. Now, one other thing that I do want to show off real quick. Let's go ahead and delete this and delete this. I want to show y'all that whenever uh, they're inside the zone, 
you can have it set on here is AI drivable. So if true, the AI units can enter vehicles within this zone. So if you do want to have some vehicles within this, within this zone, you could go ahead and make sure that they're ones that they can drive. Um, so we, uh, we of course know that they can go ahead and drive choppers. So we could go ahead and spawn these guys in here. Let's go ahead and just put a, a chopper spawn right there. And sure, let's put a ghost spawn in right here. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and spawn and see how this goes. Now we'll probably get uh, completely destroyed uh, by these guys once they do spawn in. All right, there you go. Look at a move. Look at a move. And once they get in over here, they should uh, go towards those items. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the area over there. Dang it, it must be outside the zone. It must be outside the zone. I didn't realize uh, that the zone was right here. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and let's have this a little bit closer right there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and spawn in and which we saw one get inside of a ghost so you can have vehicles like that and they will go ahead and get in those vehicles if you do have them in that area uh over there so let's see here we got one guy getting in the chopper and it looks like this grunt's about to get into the ghost uh right there fantastic look at him go and so basically now they're gonna come kill me uh wait or they're not gonna kill me oh this is good this is fantastic Maybe, maybe if I shoot, then they start going after me. I don't know. Yep. Once I shoot, then the, then all the vehicles don't like me anymore. <laughs> then they all don't like me anymore. Uh, this is so much fun. I love this so much. So that's going to be it for me, everyone. Thank y'all so much for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy this, I will try to do some more tutorials on some things. Uh, here in a little bit uh, so just stay tuned for those subscribe for more you know uh, Halo Infinite tutorials custom maps everything like that because uh, we are having so much fun with this type of stuff we're having so much fun with this and I cannot wait to build a campaign map uh, with this type of thing so thanks everyone for coming out I appreciate it I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see y'all the next one and remember let's forge a new Halo